actually got a basketball. I was going to ask, where'd you come, where did that bas basketball come from? I don't know. What are we doing? All right. So Harlem Globetrotters coming in town next Here Sunday. And here's one How of them. Guys? How's it going? Doing well. How are you guys doing? Doing well. This is Lou the Second. And goodness, I have so many questions for you. First one being, how does it feel to become, how does it feel to be a Harlem Globetrotter? You know, it's really, really cool. So we're known as ambassadors of goodwill. So okay. we do a whole bunch of stuff outside of the court. So we visit children's hospitals as well as schools all around the nation. And uh, we get to have a little fun with this basketball here. So yeah. Right, right. And speaking of fun, mm -hmm. how did you become a Harlem Globetrotter? So I played my college basketball at Oklahoma City University. Okay. Um, I set a few records there. One for most threes made in the game, which was 11, and one for most points scored in the game, which was 50 points. And I did it on 18 shots, so it was really, really efficient. Yeah. So after that, I was drafted by the Globetrotters. Nice. Yeah, so I was drafted, I tried out, made the team, and uh, here I am. But uh, my father actually played with the team for 26 to 27 years, okay. and uh, he's been the coach and director of player personnel since. So 44 so years. you're Sweet Lou the second. Correct. He's Sweet Lou the first. Yeah, so he's just Sweet Lou. <laughs> yeah, we just keep it at Sweet Lou. <laughs> yeah. And I was going to say Sweet Lou number two, mm -hmm. but I hope that works too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So I have to ask you, mm -hmm. I have seen so many videos of what you guys do, and I cannot help but to smile, and I know a lot of our viewers do too. How, how, do, how long did it take for you to learn different tricks that you do? Okay, so it took me probably about one to two weeks to learn some of them. Uh, some take a little bit longer than others, so a few of these, so just a couple. Okay. So oh, like oh, this one right oh, here, oh, oh. we can go like this. I can get it to go like that, but this one took me like not too long. Really? I could, yeah, I started doing this as a kid because of my father actually. So okay. um, oh, I was still going. Yeah, I was probably like seven whenever I started to do this. Do you know what the record is for like holding it on your finger and it spinning? Uh, I, it's a few hours. I think it's like four hours. Hours? Yes. Four hours. So the only difference with that is I think they keep it spinning. So whenever you get it spinning, they continue to do this. But I mean. I could have it spinning like this for a good amount of time just off of the That is pure time. Right. Right Would you like to try? Yeah. Okay, so just hold your finger straight up oh, like okay. this here. We're going to use this one. This one. Okay. Are you left handed? No. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then I will put it right there. Just like that. Y'all, take a look oh. at that. <laughs> Give it up for Kendall, guys. Yeah, that is good. awesome. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Okay, so I actually wore pants just because mm -hmm. I want to participate in something like okay. this. Can you maybe show me a move? Yes, I can. Okay, so what okay. you can do is you can go around your back like this. Okay. You can go between your legs like this. Oh, okay. And hold it out like this. Oh, okay. Are your hands ready? I'm ready. Okay, it's coming to you. We've got some breakables right. on okay. this set, okay. so let's, let's try not to break them. Ready? And then you just punch it. Okay. Okay, so, so behind your back. Behind my back. Yep. All right. Between your legs. Between my legs. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hold it out. <laughs> and punch it. Why are we punching it? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Actually, let me do this. Good. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that was Yay. really good. Full power yeah. there. It was a little bit good. intense. Now, I have to ask you, for those that have never been to one of your games, mm -hmm. what can we expect? Because I definitely want to go next Sunday. Okay, so this year it's completely different from what we've been doing. Okay. So this is our 2020 Pushing the Limits World Tour. So what right. that means is that we'll be pushing the limits the entire game. So to start the game, we'll be doing all of these tricks in the dark. So in the dark. Yes, in the, in dark. the dark. Are your right. uh, basketballs, are they going to be glow in the dark? It will. Oh, it that's going to be glow fun. in the dark. We'll How have cool. some glow in the dark headbands and wristbands as well. And also, what we're going to be doing is attempting to break a world record live at the event as well. Ooh. Can you give us a little. You can give us a spoiler. Can I can you? do that. I can you do can? that. You yeah, okay. can? Okay. So it will be a half court, probably a little bit further than half court, hook shot, but completely blindfolded. Wow. wow. Yes, and it's actually our 10th year anniversary of our four point line, which is 30 feet away from the basket. Okay. But we're pushing the limits, of course, so we're pushing it back another five feet. So this oh is like goodness. Stephen Curry, Damian Lillard range. So. Oh my gosh, wow. I'm so excited for y'all. Yeah. Good luck with yes. that. Yes, well congratulations yeah, awesome. to you guys. Y'all are just making moves all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. I have to ask you, you, you came by Coastal Living. Do you have mm -hmm. any other locations that you're gonna visit today? No, that will be the only one. That'll oh, only okay, one. well thank you for coming by. Yeah, Let's review the details yeah. for next Sunday. It's going to be at the American Bank Center. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be on March 1st at 3 p.m. You guys don't want to miss it. This is going to be an unbelievable game and he's already showing us some great tricks. 
Check this out. This is unreal. I didn't really get the hang of it at first, but hey, maybe you can uh, show us a thing or two during the commercial break. Yeah. All right. Well, we're already having so much fun. We're going to have a fun show today. Our friends from the Padre Island National Seashore are here to talk about an influx of marine debris on our beautiful beaches. And TAM UCC is celebrating a homecoming event. And later on, I might be holding a reptile. So that's going to be uh, interesting. But first, coming up after the break, Captain John Little is joining us to talk about tarpon on our Coastal Living fishing line. We'll be right back. Keep it here on Coastal Living. Let's see. 